Hi, my name is Dennis and I would like to present you today a brand new product called WhatsApp Companion Extended. WhatsApp Companion Extended is a plugin developed by our company Orsena to improve the global end user monitoring with WhatsApp Gold. In this product we have three components, the recorder, the player and the scheduler and we're going to see in the last step the WhatsApp Gold integration. The first component is the recorder. This recorder will allow you to record any HTTP session. So it's very useful for monitoring global end user uh, um, actions as uh, going to website, any website, so the website of your company, uh, any access to the internet. It's very, very uh, useful. So you just need to launch this HTTP recorder then click on the button start record then you just need to specify the address where you want to go so let's go to this address then click on a button and we go to the whatsapp companion store okay and now we want to download uh, tree elevation for example and I'm just gonna write my name okay so now the session is recorded, so we stop the record and you can now play what you have entered. So the recorder is playing all the, the steps that you have made before and you can see that you have the time, completed time of all the tests. And if you look more, you have for each step the time so it's useful to to monitor and uh, to get statistics on the the response time of a web page so with this recorder we record all the session has a file xml file that we are storing okay so that's that's the the aim of this recorder just to make to make this file Now that you have the file, we're going to use a module called Player. This player allows you to play any recorded session, so any XML file that you have made with the recorder. The interest is to test first uh, the, the, the sessions. So you launch the HTTP player on any machine that you want. You open your XML file and then you can run the session. The interest is to put the player on any machine you want so you can test from different uh, different client different sites so it's very useful to play all your session and in different parts so you have the response time for that okay now we have the file the sessions recorded and we have also tested this on another on the player the third component is the scheduler. The scheduler allows you to launch uh, with in interval different players. Okay. First of all, we're gonna create uh, a session, a scheduled session for for player, which is local. Okay, on the same server as the uh, as the scheduler. So we set up the IP address, the localhost IP address, the port that we're gonna use to connect to the player. Then we put the XML file created before and we put the interval so it will be two minutes we add this first we need just to disable the the launch because we need to to test it before so we're just gonna test this session so the player is launching well okay when we when we click on test in the scheduler so it thinks that the communication between the scheduler and the player is working fine on local. We got the total time as before with the player. So we can now enable. Now we're going to create another one. Okay. This one will be remote uh, player. So the player is installed on another machine 
Okay, so we set up the IP address of the old machine. And the port to communicate with this player, this remote player. Okay. And you can have an XML file local or remote. Okay. We're going to just select an XML file local. Now, the interval is also two minutes, and we're going to add this. So we have now two uh, schedule players with an interval of two minutes on two different servers. So if we look now on the on the the other server, okay, we're going to see the player launching. You see, so our XML file is launch and the session is now uh, the player is now taking care of the session on a different server on a different player so you can have uh, as much as players you want to to try your connection with your website from different uh, different uh, machines The last step of our presentation is the integration with WhatsApp Gold. Uh, we created with WhatsApp Company and extended uh, two monitors, one performance monitor and one active monitor. So we're going to present how it works. You have uh, the WhatsApp Gold server, which is communicating with the scheduler. So the WhatsApp Gold server uh, will communicate directly from a performance monitor or an active monitor with the scheduler. So we're going to create a performance monitor first. We're going to put the name of this performance monitor. Okay. And now we're going to load the XML file, okay? The session recorded. So when we load this file, we can select the counter that we want. So total time or for each step of this uh, session. Okay. Just change the name. And what is important is that now you can test this performance monitor directly to be sure that it's working before putting on a device. So we're going to uh, put on the schedule, which is the, the local machine. So we're going to put the IP and we're going to test. And you see that the scenario, the player is launching. So it means that WhatsApp goal is communicating well with the scheduler and the scheduler is communicating well with the player. And now we got a return code zero, meaning that everything is fine and that we have a value for statistics. So we can graph the response times, the response times of um, of this website and all the session that we have run. You can also create an active monitor, um, gum active monitor. So these active monitors allow you to to put like performance monitor a script file. Okay. And you can say the host is down if the result uh, is error, etc. If the total time is more than something, okay. So you have the choice. So we're gonna just set up the performance monitor, one performance monitor on the device that we want, okay. The port for the you have in the option the port for the connection and the interval that you want. So if we set up collection interval of two, uh, the scheduler will run with an interval of two for the the sessions. Okay, so now it's playing. So the integration with WhatsApp Gold is uh, kind of easy because uh, it's taking care of the of the scheduler just directly in WhatsApp Gold. The only thing that you need to do is create your record, test it with the player, okay? And then in your WhatsApp Gold, you just need to say, okay, I want to graph my total time, or I want to graph the time of these steps. And that's the interest. 
So if we look now more uh, on the graph that we can have. So in WhatsApp Gold now, you can see that in Custom Performance Monitor, we got, uh, we got the information uh, of the response time of, uh, of this session. Okay. So it's very cool. And if you look on the map, you see how, how the, the plugin is communicating with the different components. Okay. So WhatsApp goal communicating with the scheduler with a uh, Microsoft queue, for example, and you have all this graph giving you information about the response time of, uh, any, any, uh, web pages and the interest is that you can graph total time or adjust some steps. Thank you for your attention. I hope this was useful for you. And uh, don't forget to go on our website to see how what's the company is working. And you can contact us by email or by phone. Bye-bye.